What's going on guys, it's me KLV and today I'm going to teach you guys on how you can make Platinum Warframe. We're going to start off with new players and then we're going to work our way or when we get to like 4 and 5 is for the while well, in my level of the game. So let's get straight to it. So the first one is item treasures. Now item treasures for newer players can be very very simple to get. You basically get them from one doing sorties and then you also have because doing sorties you have a chance of getting an item and that's a sculpture what is the best and that's a sculpture if i correct me if i'm wrong but i believe it's the best one you can get that sells for the most endo and basically you can sell these item sculptures to people just in trade chat or you can use warfare in market what i highly highly recommend using as you can just basically look for something that you want so Let's say again, let's go with the item and that's a sculpture. And I want some of these sculptures. These sell for 16 plat. This guy's selling 18 of them for six plat each. And you can see if they've got stars in and stuff like that. Wanted to sell it to someone, right? Because this guy's wanted to buy here. You simply click his name, you copy and paste this whole line here, you go back into Warframe, you go into the chat and you press Ctrl V. This one then send a message straight to that person saying that you wanted to buy this item and there you go and you do the complete opposite for people that are selling and you're wanting to buy you do the complete opposite by making making sure you click sellers or buyers obviously and there you go uh next thing on the list is prime parts and sets now prime parts and sets very very simple to do everyone in the mums can do it if you're even newer to, newer to the game you still have fissures open so basically you will get relics from those random missions defense survival there's just a bunch of missions you can get relics from okay you will just get relics from just playing the game doing your star chart shit you'll have relics there's no way you don't have relics right now what these relics do is each relic each relic will have a different item in so we'll have a different rotation of different items i see here this one's got like revenant prime it's got dual carriers stuff and it will have each part now basically what your goal is to do is to get a whole set so for example limbo right here well i'm trying to get a limbo set as he is selling for quite a lot right now so i'm going to try and get a limbo set and try and sell it basically you want to go for prime sets and get the parts you can use your void traces to make the harder stuff so like the rare stuff here basically not that rare it's you're more likely to get them now they do cost void tracers if you want to get more void tracers you want to be using a resource booster as a resource booster increases on how many you get and yeah you just basically want to farm prime sets and what you can also do is use warframe market this is also a strategy that i do a lot so let's say now also a lecker frame this is also what i use to see what i am close to getting so if you go to real quick we'll go to sets right we change this to complete sets I am close right now to getting Gorse Prime. I just need his Neuroptics, and I've already got Gorse Prime myself. So I'll look, look on how much Gorse Prime is going for. I can buy his Neuroptics for five Platinum. This also does link into our next thing is buying and reselling. So basically, I've got three Gorse Prime set, uh, parts. All I need is his Neuroptics, what is five Plat, and his set is selling for 35 to 30. So I can make profit right there because I'm only one part. Same with Grendel. Now, probably not much with Grendel because seeing on the price, it's not really going to be worth it. Because it's, people are selling it at 24 and his set is actually selling at 30. So not really profitable right there. But you can do this with a lot of things. Uh, again, with Wisp as well. And the Roptics are selling for 4 plat. The set is selling for 36. I can make profit. Now, I didn't actually have Wisp Prime. So I'm probably actually going to buy them for before plat to be honest but basically you just do that you just basically do that that is basically buying and reselling we also got to go over to buying and reselling ribbons now this is the next thing ribbons 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 i'm going to be using a lecker frame a lot just because this is what i use quite a lot for my ribbons so we have uh, see here a lot of cybrus ribbons they're not crazy good but they have some good talents on them right you know, we've got multi-shot crit damage, we've got crit damage, crit chance, multi-shot crit chance, crit damage, toxin, and this one's just damage, this one's not that good. But you can basically see on how much these are listed for. Now, you see here, I believe this one is mine, that's 500. I'm not trying to get crazy prices. Now, the reason why I've gone 500, as I've seen, this one's going for 1,300, this one's going for 1,000. I'm putting mine at 500 because I believe I bought this at 50 plat. 
Was it this one? No, it was this one that I bought at 50 plat. And that I'm selling at 200. This one I probably bought at like 100. Where's the one that I'm actually trying to look for? And this one I probably bought like 100 or something. And then just reselling it. That is one way on how you can do it. Now you need to know what ribbons are actually good and what are not. Um, yeah, this is why I like using a lecker frame as well. Because you can see on how much people are selling stuff for. Again, there's one going for 500 here and one that's going for 1000 this is probably me that's going for 500 because i like to sell my ribbons cheap because i do buy them quite cheap as well and i will then roll them so basically i will buy a trash ribbon so people will buy basically trash ribbons of that weapon so let's say the rubico for example as a rubico can sell for quite a lot i will then farm a bunch of kuva to then roll it to then hope that i get a good roll on it like how this one kind of is quite decent of a roll would be better it kind of doesn't gamble with ribbons you're kind of having to either one buy a trash ribbon well that someone thinks is a trash ribbon but is actually a good ribbon for example this Leotron ribbon here i originally bought this at i think it's 50 plat if i'm correct i believe i bought it for 50 or it can sell for a lot more as we go to over to the market real quick we we'll look for Leotron here See here, uh, this is mine here with the 490 because I saw someone put it at 500. So I was like, you know, I want to go 10 lower and go 490. And yeah, you have, you can just basically just be flipping ribbons, but you kind of need to know what is actually decent. And then also what you can be doing is getting veiled ribbons, unveiled ribbons. Uh, this is also a result for new players because you might have done sorties and have a couple of these as well of ribbon mods that have basically not been opened it unveil ruin you can basically buy these so like say rifle for example and buy them for like what 20 buy one for like 20 plat right let's just say buy one for 20 plat you can then go and open that ribbon and can get like a toro ribbon well let's just do a research real quick on how much a toro ribbon costs as i see here i've got one here this is like some just some good positive attributes selling for a thousand now if we just go straight nothing first one here 480 is selling for torrid ribbons sell for a lot now a lot of people what they try and do is they try and buy them for a lot cheaper and then they will simply just flip them because just in general they are ribbons that people a lot of people are wanting because they can sell for a lot especially if you get a god roll on it they can sell for ridiculous prices and you see here as well when literally in the list here Want to buy ribbons for Torrid, Verglas, Magistar. Basically, all these weapons are all good ones to get, mainly just because are, some of them are Incarnans. They have an Incarnan form, like, for example, the Torrid, uh, the Dortoxicist, and shit like that. They will all put a price because this guy is basically going to then flip them and make profit. That is one strategy that a lot of people do, and it, it simply works. It's just ribbons. It's just what it is. It's basically the end game of making plat because well they yeah they sell for a lot like they sell for a lot and not a lot of new players are going to have enough and want to spend 350 plat on a simple on a mod on a mod for your weapon so and the next one the last but not least is arcanes now we've talked about ribbons and getting kuva and we're going to explain on the sixth option what is the best way on making plant but well, for number five is arcanes now you can get arcanes from a bunch of different stuff from a bunch of different stuff now i know you can get them from doing the yeah you can get them from planes of eidolon by doing the eidolon hunts and then you can also get them from void cascade from the enemies basically not just the normal enemies like the little mini boss enemies you can get them from i don't actually know what they're called I should have done my research but basically from the little mini enemies like the little mini bosses that every time you complete something you have to kill them you have to go into the operator you have to kill them with your amp and they have a chance of dropping arcanes but the arcanes aren't good right that you can get but but but, but what you can do is go to sanctum i'm not going to try and say that last word you can go to here and you can dissolve your arcanes to get whatever you want or well, not whatever you're still kind of the kind of the way you look based around it 
But basically, they have better. So you basically want to go to Lloyd. Lloyd will then allow you to go to, go to Arcane Dissolution. And you can see here, basically, you can buy Arcanes. So you can get Arcanes from, this, from here. Basically, this is like a collection. And you have a chance. You only get three to get. Out of all of these, you only have you only get three when you buy them. Or you can dissolve your arcanes. So you dissolve arcanes. So ones that let's say that we already have. Uh, let's see these ones here, right? I'm not gonna need these, as I've got most of these already maxed out. Same with the Cascader ones, because these are the ones that you actually that actually drop in Void Cascade, and then you simply dissolve your arcanes you will then get vosfa you then use whatever collection what i would recommend the idol Ar arcane collection because this would allow you to get arcane energize what everyone wants arcane energize is a really good arcane and you simply buy as many you need you'll get three random relics from that collection so you're probably wondering so what is the best way of making platinum because i'm here in kuva I'm hearing Rivens where you're going to need Kuva from. I'm hearing Arcanes that could be good, but they're going to take a while to get a full set. That is the only problem with Arcanes as well, is trying to actually get a full set. Now, the best way to maximize all three of them ones, right? To get Arcanes, Kuva, and also Prime Parts is Fishers, right? In the Steel Path, specifically. Now, the reason why is because there is normally one that is a void cascade. This will then allow you to then, and it's also an Omni Fisher, so you can use any any relic in there. You basically want to go in there with a group. You don't want to do a solo, because obviously when you do it with a group, you get more people, more prime parts, and you can get more rarer stuff. Basically, you do the void cascade, you will then get kills, you'll get steel essence, right? From killing the acolytes. You'll get arcanes from killing the little mini bosses. You will also then get your prime parts for opening your relic. You will get all three of them what then can be used to make platinum. It is generally the best way to make platinum is by going in there. Now, if you want to specifically farm for certain stuff, like you want to get Kuva, then I would recommend doing a Requiem Fisher. So like this one is actually a decent one to do if you have decent weapons and you don't actually know how to play it. And then obviously I would recommend doing these missions as well. Like this one i'm probably going to do this and when i finish recording this because it's just a capture it will take two minutes to do to get 2k probably not two minutes probably a little bit longer but if you want to get kuva like that there you go if you want to do relic runs and you want to be able to get uh your prime parts as quick as possible you want to be doing exterminate capture rescue can be quite quick um sabotage then four are the quickest ones to actually do it and then you can just get your prime parts quicker but if you want to go endless and you want to basically maximize your outcome you could say is by doing when void cascade is here on steel path because you're going to be getting steel essence you're going to be getting your prime parts and you're also going to be in the arcanes that you can trade into lloyd to try and get arcane energize but yeah that is the video guys i hope you guys did enjoy i also do stream over on twitch i also do giveaways i basically just stream on twitch whenever i'm playing warframe basically and yeah you can basically you watch the stream you will get points while watching the stream but then then points then can be used to get a prime set so you can make free platinum from just watching my stream so if that interests you make sure you hop by we also play with viewers as well and help out newer players so yeah Make sure you hop by the stream and see you guys later. Peace out.